Ah, oh, hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, and today is rather a special day, don't you know, for today is the day that I complete my Garotti collection. Okay then, ladies and gentlemen, well, here we go, we've arrived in the GT500, uh, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, a rather fine Garotti. Uh, but before we start, ladies and gentlemen, why don't we go on inside, we're going up to uh, the uh, the office garage, you know, and we're going to have a, we're going to have a look at the other uh, Garottis that I currently own. Okay, and as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the Maze Bank offices. Okay, so first off, we've got the GT500 there. Next to that, we've got the Stinger GT. Uh, next to that, we've got the uh, the Cheetah Classic, the Turismo Classic, ladies and gentlemen, the Carbonizer, and the best here in the corner there, which we won't even look at because uh, it's uh, such a hideous disappointment, don't you know? Okay, well, we're going up to the second store, uh, second level now, second story, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have a look at the, uh, the, the garages up here, don't you know? And as you can see there, we've got uh, the... Uh, the modern day Turismo, you know, and we've got uh, the Cheetah as well, you know, and uh, we've got the, the Vision over there, we've got the GTO, which is fantastic, and we've got the, uh, the what, what is that, the Proto, something like that, no idea. Okay, but that's not all of them, we are a couple short, I'm afraid, and uh, one of those, ladies and gentlemen, is, uh, is uh, the Grotti Furia, don't you know? Okay, yes, now, the Grotti Fury, ladies and gentlemen, is a rather fine car, you know, I am rather taken by it, and so I've sort of been keeping it, uh, until I complete my Grotti collection, ladies and gentlemen, I've been uh, keeping it over here at my arcade. Okay, then, so here we are, we're uh, just, uh, just quick, quick zip up the road, you know, not too far, so yes, we'll just, uh, just head on over now to the, uh, the arcade, and we'll go and, we'll go and pick up the Grotti Fury, and with a little bit of luck, that GTO will be delivered back to my, uh, uh back to my, uh, my Grotti collection there. Okay, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're inside, as you can see now. Yes, of course, yes, we're inside uh, the uh, the arcade there. And uh, yes, there we go. Jolly good, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Garotti Furia, uh, retailing for a price of $2.7 million, or uh, $2 million if you do the Young Ancestor mission, and I really would rather recommend that, you know. Uh, really isn't worth $2.7 million, but it is, uh, it is in fact worth uh, the, the $2 million, one could safely say, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Either way, we've now brought it back. Uh, we've now brought it back to the uh, the office garage, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to go and uh, go ahead and put it with the rest of the uh, with the rest of the Garotti collection, don't you know? Okay, taking rather a long time. Got absolutely no idea why I seem to have left that in, but I seem to have, don't I? Okay, well here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So yes, now we have. There we go. Jolly good, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a hole filled in the Garotti collection, and now we've got the uh, the Furia sat in its right place. Like I said, it's the Proto. Uh, uh, what, what is it? The X something. I've got no idea. Should have looked at it, shouldn't I? Really? Should have. Uh, should have been paying attention to what the bloody car was. Okay. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Like I said, that's the GTO. That's the uh, the Vision, ladies and gentlemen. There, rather fine car, but slightly overpriced in my opinion. Uh, we have the Fury, ladies and gentlemen. We've already previously discussed, you know. Uh, and of these two cars, ladies and gentlemen, I can't work out which one's which. You know, one's uh, there. We go. Okay. So it's the Cheetah in front of me, ladies and gentlemen. And the Turismo R at the back there. And I really would uh, would recommend the Turismo R to be quite honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. They're very Similar cars, almost identical in many ways, you know, very similar price, I do believe. Uh, but uh, we find the, uh, the Turismo R to be that little bit more consistent, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, uh, there we go, and so and uh, going down here, as I say, we've got the the, uh, the my red version of the uh, the GT500, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I don't know why we're doing this again. The GT, uh, the Stinger GT, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the uh, the old-fashioned. Uh, Cheetah there, yes, the Turismo R, of course, uh, the Carbonizer, and of course, we'll have a look at it, why not, yes, the best here, ladies and gentlemen, there we go, okay then, so uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen, we are only, uh, we, there are two more Grottis we could possibly buy, but there's only one more slot free, uh, the other one is the, uh, just the Stinger Classic, ladies and gentlemen, uh, not the Stinger GT, uh, but actually, uh, and also the Topless, ladies and gentlemen, the Stinger Topless, you know, okay, so why on God's earth have I left this in the video, I've got absolutely no idea. Idea. Yes, that's my top story, my top level there. Okay, so yes, we've got to sort of shift these cars around and make sure we've got space for it. We're not going to need to. Uh, what bloody hell, right? Yes, we're going to need it. Right, okay, I think I'm just going to cut this out now. All oh, right, okay, we've got it up there. Jolly good. Okay, then. So, uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. We should have a space now for the uh, for the Gar for the Garotti GT uh, topless, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to need to uh, move a couple of cars around and move that across. There we go. And uh, we're going to put it next to the, the Stinger, ladies and gentlemen, the GT, no doubt. Uh, and, yes, there we go. We've got a space for it.
Okay then, jolly good. Yes, there we go. That's exactly that's the Stinger GT, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna put the uh, the Stinger Topless in right next to it here, as you can see. Okay, jolly good, ladies and gentlemen. Then yes, it's rather exciting. You know, I am rather taken by the quad. Is I go to order it? Actually, you know, now, now I think about it, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. I'm actually at the um, the Maze Bank offices. I may as well go up and uh, harass my secretary. You know, why not go ahead and do that? You know. Okay then, uh, and there we go. Sort of pressing the button for that. Okay, jolly good, going up to the office. Jolly good, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, then. Uh, now, before we begin, ladies and gentlemen, I must warn you, don't speak to my secretary. She's been accused of starting a worldwide pandemic, don't you know? Okay, well, either way, you know, we'll carry on and we'll be on his side. Like I say, I'm rather taken by the Garotti's, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm rather eager to complete uh, complete my Garotti collection. And as I say, this will now be, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the last Garotti that I'm going to purchase for the time being. I could go ahead and purchase the uh, the classic Sting, uh, ladies and gentlemen, but no, I don't think uh, no, no, not, not enough room uh, on that level. So, okay, then here we go, you know, okay, scrolling down the page. I'm afraid it does take some rather long time, you know. It is all the way towards the bottom of the page. Okay, we're going down and down and down, as you can see, past all the more uh, preferable cards. Perhaps one may, uh, my one may think, and here we go. Okay, then, so we've got the uh, the Stinger GT. We're going for the Stinger Topless on this occasion, right? And as you can see, retailing for a price, ladies and gentlemen, of uh, eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. There, and we're going to put it in red eventually. So we must go ahead and put it in white and see what it looks like there. Okay, and of course, ladies and gentlemen, as always, we're going to send it on up to the Hillcrest uh, residence, you know. Uh, and on this occasion, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be getting there in the Proto... Oh, bloody XP, was it? I've got absolutely no idea. So it's the top end Garotti, ladies and gentlemen. Should you buy it, in my opinion? Certainly not. It's really not worth it, you know. Uh, go for the uh, the Garotti Italy GTO instead. That's what I'd say, but there we go. Okay, then, it's a rather futuristic looking guy, though, isn't it? Okay, well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are uh, at the Hillcrest residence, and we can go on inside, you know, and go and have a look at our vehicle. Okay, and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the Garotti, uh, it, uh, the Garotti Stinger Topless, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. In white, looks rather fine. I think. It'll be, in fact, you know what? I really am not taken by the, uh, the the look of the Stinger GT, ladies and gentlemen. Not a favorite car of mine at all. But I've got to say, ladies and gentlemen, the stand uh, the standard Stinger uh, with Topless. Yes, I do really rather like it. You know, it's rather impressive, isn't it? Yes, I do quite like that. Yes, sort of stylish reminds me a little bit of the uh, of the. I can see the sort of similarities now with the uh, with the uh, GT500, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well, yes, I do rather like that, you know. Okay, so we're going to take it back on out, ladies and gentlemen. We'll rather take it out for the first time. We're going to see how she handles. Uh, and this is, of course, uh, with the vehicle uh, completely unupgraded. Although, one should, of course, point out that this is a classic sports car, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, with that regard, one shouldn't really expect too much in terms of performance. Okay, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. What do we think of it straight out of the box? Okay, acceleration, very poor. Uh, handling, ladies and gentlemen, not too bad. Not too bad for a classic car. I mean, if you're going to compare it to something like the Zen Porno then it's got absolutely awful handling ladies and gentlemen uh, but for a classic sports car not too bad also Daisy's clipping there I'm spinning out sodding hell right okay managed to hold it there how about that jolly gun sodding hell here the bloody lampers didn't I bloody hell okay well never mind ladies and gentlemen we'll crack on anyway uh, so what do we think ladies and gentlemen uh, acceleration as you can see not particularly good top end speed ladies and gentlemen as you can see not particularly good stability ladies and gentlemen I do uh, apologize I neglected to do a stability test I didn't get on this particular vehicle uh, uh, but regardless, ladies and gentlemen, I can assure you, uh, yes, it really is. Uh, it's not uh, not the best, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's a classic sports car, so what do you expect? Okay, so there is only uh, sort of one more question. Then, ladies and gentlemen, handling, you know, and why not test out the handling at top speed around a very sharp corner? And we'll see what we get, and there we go, and straight into the post, you know, straight into the fence. And how often do we see that? I mean, admittedly, ladies and gentlemen, my driving is rather shocking, but it is very rare that we see a vehicle go off the road like that now, isn't it? Okay, so yes, uh, handling, ladies and gentlemen, not too good. Oops, okay, right, we got someone else there, right? Okay, Johnny, we we'll just take it back on inside. Okay, so the initial review, ladies and gentlemen, right out of the box, what do we think of it? Acceleration poor, handling poor, uh, stability poor, top end speed poor. Yes, I mean it's poor all across the board, really. And for eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen, there really are a lot of a lot of the a lot better vehicles out there. You should consider purchasing uh, again. All right, okay. So uh, there we go. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, we can go through all uh, go through the uh, the modifications that can be affected to this vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. As always, we 
will be going through this section of the video at double speed just in order to hurry things along somewhat but still give you uh, an opportunity to have a look at the different modifications that can be affected to this vehicle as I say should you then choose to go ahead and purchase it and you can as you can see ladies and gentlemen the modifications that can be affected to this vehicle really are rather scant you know you can put the uh, the roof on there so you can choose to purchase the topless and have the uh, the convertible roof put on there uh, but in terms of uh, aesthetic modifications ladies and gentlemen really are uh, absolutely zip you know absolutely not okay well here we go ladies and gentlemen we put it in the garage red or at least what well, i'm putting my garage in you know and we're going to take it on uh, the standard lap and this is of course the fully upgraded version so okay acceleration marginally improved ladies and gentlemen not you know it's not brilliant done by any stretch of the imagination but it's been marginally improved by that uh, by that turbo one would assume oops it is right okay as you can see handling absolutely shocking and stability absolutely shocking there ladies and gentlemen what really can one say you know uh, top end speed ladies and gentlemen perhaps again marginally improved but still not going to well we'll come to what it's going to be and what it's not going to be later on in the video ladies and gentlemen okay so uh, but as you can see ladies and gentlemen by, by the way it's taking such a long time to catch up with that Bus, it really is uh, quite whoops at daisies and spinny spinny and right okay as we go yeah it's so like I said as you can see ladies and gentlemen not particularly fast not particularly good and uh, someone's upset me it would appear ladies and gentlemen now as you may well know if you watch these videos I don't normally do this sort of thing but I just do want to go and make sure they're perfectly all right are you all right there sir yes you seem to crash into me didn't me yes let's go in uh let's go right I don't want that let's go and uh, perform some CPR on this gentleman you know there's only one way to do that of course I thought with a pole cue or pole cue uh, it's with a baseball bat are you all right sir you didn't to help take that sir take that you wretched swine clipping me and sending me off like that you absolute bastard you know i'll smash you around the head that's it i'm gonna wreck you yes right i do apologize for that ladies and gentlemen just performing a little bit of first aid there on a uh, lucky motorist who was uh oh he's driving a grotty himself as well how about that well you know okay well never mind i, mean, I wouldn't have saved him either way if i'd known it wasn't good ronnie i don't know actually that may have been the choir uh, no, though i've got no idea what that was either way ladies and gentlemen it absolutely scuppered the uh scuppered the uh the, the top corner there didn't we have to take it uh, back on down ladies and gentlemen now we're gonna take it back on down the road and whoops a sodding hell right okay absolutely bloody typical isn't it okay well we're gonna go we're gonna go crack on ladies and we're gonna try and get down to this bottom left hand corner and see how she handles now she's been upgraded you know perhaps there's been some sort of a uh, modification uh, benefit there and okay well sort of no let's be honest perfectly honest yeah so i'm breaking hard of it now the back end came around and like i say a perfectly uh perfectly hideous vehicle in many ways ladies and gentlemen really is absolutely shocking Okay, well here we go. So we're bringing it back on now, ladies and gentlemen. Bring it back round to that. And that white car is still there. How about that, you know? Okay, well there we go, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, uh, I've got absolutely no idea. We're now going to have to go and take it home to the, the, the top speed test track. Okay, so here we are then, ladies and gentlemen. We are uh, we are brought up to the top speed test track, and we're going to go ahead and put it down and go and see what sort of times you get you now now of course there's no way that a vehicle of this nature is going to compete with uh, any of the top end cars uh, but what we consider to be a broadly uh, competitive time ladies and gentlemen is about 53 54 seconds like something along those lines you know that's what the Picassi Zentorno can do it in and that's what we consider to be a uh, competitive time you know so okay then this is the uh, the Gorotti Stinger Topless ladies and gentlemen $850,000 let's see what you get for your money okay then one minute one second absolutely shocking ladies and gentlemen right well i don't know what to say there but it really is a, a rather beautiful car i'm sure you'll agree ladies and gentlemen we're going to give it a once around uh the track here ladies and gentlemen and then we're going to put it over up here around sandy shoulders shores up against some other vehicles uh, now this is the inverto cockpit Bla not the Blackfin, the Inverto Cockpit Classic, I do believe, driven by Mr. Raccoon, I should point out, you know, as are all of the other vehicles on this test, you know. Uh, Mr. Raccoon has a, a channel of his own, you know, he is called the Bromby, and that is the name of his channel. You go and type that into YouTube, you should go and find that. And, uh, he's got some rather good videos on there when you go and do that. Okay, so we decided, ladies and gentlemen, not particularly there to test the uh, the, the Garotti uh, Topless Stinger or Stinger Topless up against any modern day car, so we are going for classic sports cars or uh, at least sort of uh, what we consider to be. Uh, vehicles from the same era, you know, ladies and gentlemen. And as you can see, yes, the uh, the cockhead classic, there, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely destroys the uh, the, the the stinger toppers. Okay, well, next, ladies and gentlemen, we have got the Mamba Uno coming in at just under a million 
dollars. Uh, this is the, the Class A Mambra, so we see we're uh, the, the old-fashioned sort of a muscle car. Actually, it does qualify not as a sports car, it does qualify as a muscle car. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, yes, it's absolutely disappearing into the distance and uh, forcing us to eat its dust, which really isn't rather happy. Uh, rather happy making, I should say. And as you can see, there's a rather, rather awful handling there on the uh, the Mamba, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but still, yes, uh, the, the, uh, the top end speed, the acceleration and uh, whatnot there, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be more than enough to pull away. Uh, allow us to pull away. So yes, unfortunately, there's even a sting that does lose to the Class A number 2, and perhaps one shouldn't be surprised. Okay then, ladies and gentlemen, there we go, rather nice parking there, isn't it? Okay, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen, this is the, uh, oh my god, what is this? This, this is the, the, the Benefactor Stinger GT, I do believe, one of Mr. Ben, I mean, Mr. Raccoon's more favoured vehicles, you know, rather, rather, uh, a good price range, I believe. This retails at something like six hundred thousand dollars. You know, I, I, I could be wrong. You know, but uh, either way, ladies and gentlemen, it's a very fine-looking car, and as you can see, yes, it's absolutely destroying this now, isn't it? So yes, unfortunately, uh, the Stinger Topless is not going to be able to beat the Sterling GT, and that really is rather a rotten disappointment. I'm sure you'll agree. Okey dokey. Uh, yes, there we go. So never mind. And as it turns out, it was actually $975,000 for the Sterling GT, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, 665 I do believe, for the Inverto Cockhead Classic. Okay, well, this is the uh, the Pegasi Zentorno, $725,000, ladies and gentlemen. What, what, what seems to be going on? Uh, right, okay, I wondered what was going on. Yes, Mr. Raccoon seems to be playing with me, doesn't he? Yes, he thinks it's rather funny, ladies and gentlemen, because he's so confident in his victory, he's been able to beat this wretched vehicle, you know, uh, that he's just sitting around there behind me, and as I lumber around the corner, sliding in the rain as you can see ladies and gentlemen yes he's just nipped around and now he's already in the front ladies and gentlemen i can assure you didn't cut across the track or anything there yes that's just how good the pegasi zentorno really is okay so there we go ladies and gentlemen when uh, when would this car uh, just come up uh, to again you know, up against a really competitive vehicle ladies and gentlemen yes we can see the sort of difference you know and considering that it's uh in fact costs more money for the stinger topless one may well consider uh, want to consider uh, purchasing the perhaps the Pegasi Zentorno. Okay, well there is only one more question ladies and gentlemen, and that question is the Gorotti Italian GTO. That is the question and the answer is yes of course is going to beat the Gorotti Stinger Topless. Don't be so bloody stupid. Okay then, well here we go, we're not gonna watch it anyway ladies and gentlemen. There's a tiny speck in the distance there, it's just disappearing around the corner. Yes, that's the back end of the Gorotti Italian GTO and this is the Gorotti Italian Stinger desperately trying to, yeah he's got him keep up with it again is absolutely absolutely shocking if you look at the map there yes it's now going around the other uh, dog leg bend there and we're still coming all the way down the back straight okay well there we go ladies and gentlemen so what do we think of the karate at stinger topless well what can one say really you know uh, considering its price ladies and gentlemen uh, there are considerably more better vehicles to purchase out there the uh, the uh, garotti uh, uh, sort of any of the, the, the lower garotis you know the, the Turismo or whatnot may be worth purchasing. Is this worth it? By not really. Not, not unless you're, you're looking for uh, the complete a collection. I just have a bloody raccoon. And Mr. Raccoon's just gone blown the sorry thing up. Wretched raccoon. Anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching.